Hey guys, and welcome back to Orobusha, where we last left off. We actually came up against the second boss, I believe. And yeah, I kind of made the gravest mistake in <laughs> not saving the game, and he defeated us. So I had to replay essentially most of the, well, all of the last episode again. Um, now, I thought I would take this opportunity to grind as well, and I did a little bit of grinding, you know. Uh, and by a little bit of grinding, I mean I might have maxed out, oh, I don't know, everything? <laughs> so, all of our swords and orbs up until this point are maxed. Uh, I also maxed out all of our herbs into medicines, and I got us 10 fire arrows as well uh, not really sure uh, if they're gonna be much cop but we have them uh, so let's go try this boss again now I did find a few other things out in grinding uh, the enemies are not infinite and I found out that the cutscenes are not skippable yes never mind Oh, I also found out that your magic bar is not shared between weapons. So if you run out of magic with one weapon, um, you can use your other, which is really cool. Right. Oof. Okay. Now let's see if we can't kick this guy in the ass. Okay. So I'm not sure. I think we can, like block most of this guy's attacks. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. There we go. Nice. That's what we want. That's what we want. So we need to, I'm guessing, try to get behind him like that. Unfortunately, when we absorb souls, that does leave us vulnerable. Ow. So we need to be careful about that. Ah, so that's like a double attack. Yeah, so... I think I'm getting this <laughs> slowly. <laughs> right, so that attack's also blockable. The wind attack is also blockable. Curious. Very curious. Okay. Come on. Ow. 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 Right. Come on, dude. Yeah, that's that double tack of his. That really hurts. Yep. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Ow. Cheers, pal. Oh, his um, shield's gone. Alright. That's awkward. For him. Although, we can now hit him. Ow! He can also hit us, apparently. Come on, absorb the souls. Oh, got him. That wasn't too hard, actually. Okay. I mean, we do have some disgustingly powerful weapons, so, you know. Uh, yeah, so enemies are not unlimited. And that's the Arashi, I guess? Oh, is that a, is that a, no, that's not a bow. Ooh, it's like a two-handed blade. Oh, okay. Ooh, I like that. And that's fast as well. Because I love this sword. This sword is beastly, but it's very, very, very slow. This one, yeah, I like it. And what a beautiful <laughs> uh, scene this is on top of this mountain here. Really nice. Anyway, cool. Okay, uh, I mean, the bosses haven't been too bad so far. I mean, I guess we're still early in this game. I do know that this isn't, like, a very long game, keeping in theme of Resident Evil. 
Uh, I guess we're gonna enhance things. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so that's the uh, Sipu or Shipu. Now we have that. Oh, uh, let's start upgrading that, I suppose. Now level two. Does take a awful long time to level these up, but I don't think it's going to be that hard to actually max these things out. All right, let's drop a save. Need to remember to drop a save. Hmm, looking forward to trying this weapon out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, enemies just eventually stop coming, which is curious. Let's go through this room anyway. Now we have the green. Orb. Hey kid. Ah, oh, he's alright. He's just chilling. See, Keed gets around, doesn't she? Please save her. Don't worry. You're safe now. Yeah. Honest. You have to save her. I give you my word. I will save Princess Yuki. Kaede, you know why Princess Yuki took care of this boy. Um. Princess Yuki was born the daughter of a feudal lord and thus raised for an arranged marriage. She has had no freedom whatsoever. Oof. So when she meets someone else who's in need, she wants to help them. Aww. In this world, only the strong survive. Samanosuke. Let me tell you about the ways of the world, Yamamaru. The world? Yeah, sit down and listen to Daddy. Four years ago, my uncle Mitsuhide pressured me to leave and see the world. I have met people who speak and look different than us. I have experienced things that I never would have imagined. There are infinite things that we do not understand. There is beauty and freedom all around us. You owe it to yourself and everyone to see these things and then share them with the people of this country. You must help them to understand the absurdity of fighting over such small portions of land on this tiny island. Hmm? Help! Who are you? My name is Nui. I serve Princess Hatsu. Princess Yuki is underground. Oh! Oof. You alright? Yeah, she's fine. She looks fine. Bit tired, maybe. I we have little time. I have to find Princess Yuki. You watch over these two. I will. So, uh, I did some looking into the backstory of this game, and Kaide apparently was a, well, is a female uh, ninja, obviously, sent to kill uh, Samusuke. And uh, apparently, I, she didn't? Question mark? And uh, now they're friends for uh, reasons, I guess. So, oh, the demons are back. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Oh my god, you can really tell that this weapon is not powered up. Well, we'll change that. Looks like, because this is going to be my last recording for a week, uh, I'm probably going to... Uh, level up between videos because I'm really enjoying this game. Oh look there's a dude up there with an arrow with an arrow with a bow. Oh nice. You sod. Right, how do we use this fucking bow? Uh no seriously how do we use the bow? Uh anyone? Okay, uh, bow plus normal arrows. A does nothing. 
Do we? Oh, okay. So, like that, I guess. All right, that makes no sense, but sure. So we've got ourselves another herb. Nice. Uh, now we could go back to where that boy was. This is the way we're supposed to be going. Ah, oh, this weapon's so much fun to use. Ooh, I like it. All right. Cool. Well, we're not going to back down from a fight because that's what sissies do. There we go. We're going to kill everything we come across. So we could go back through. Oh, yeah. Every everywhere has respawned because these areas stopped giving me demons to fight. Whereas I guess they're all back now, which is most excellent. Nice try, buddy. But my skills have grown since last we met. Now, out here, are we going to have like a big battle out here? This area kind of seemed to just go on forever when I was grinding. Uh, no, I guess there's still no demons out here. Uh, curious. Now, there was a lockbox down here. Uh, one of those like puzzle box type things. Now, we should have... Uh, everything I think that we need. Uh, I guess we can do some enhancing as well, because why not? Uh, I guess we'll level up the orb, I suppose, before we do the weapon. Right, so what clan has been subverted by the demons? Um, the clan of ogres. Subverted by the demons. The clan of ogres? Um, do we have to put the clan of ogres? Okay, so how... Right. Their power. This brave and powerful man also bears a grudge against the demons. Um... Oh, right. So I think we have to do the clan of. Okay, so I think that's the clan of. Yay, there we go. Ooh, got a power jewel. Don't mind if I do. Uh, power. Oh, Shinobi kit. This kit can help ninjas to unlock the doors of disarm traps. Uh. Samonosuke cannot use this item. Okay. So that's for KD, I suppose. All right, cool. All right, well, let's use the power jewel. Get some of that m uh, extra health. Nice. Uh, let's save. Because why not, yo? All right, cool. Fair enough. Let's go. And go back up to the top of the tower. Because. We need to find out uh, what was in that room, because where we found the kid, there was items in there. Uh, and that was through here, I believe. Oh, hey, big fella. Oh, he's a double hit. Double attack. Got ya. Ow. Oh, okay. So, wait, can we only block one attack from him? I think we can only block one attack, but that's fine. We'll just finish him off with that. Taste my lightning, fucker. Alright, uh, cool. Let's go. Try and remember where we're going now. It's not like I haven't been running around for like... Oh, God. Seven hours. Alright, he's done. Yeah, we can kill those red armor guys now so quickly. It's pretty badass. Nice. So what will happen, like, if there's more enemies in this area, like, every time we exit and come back in, there will just be less enemies. But, oh, we've got two big guys. Ow. That's fine. We can handle the big guys. Yeah, we need to get quicker on the old dodge there. Definitely need to be quicker on the dodge. So I don't really want to use any health, because... You don't 
seem to really need to use health. I mean, it is fairly plentiful. Oh, you dickhead. He says. I guess our health is pretty low at the moment. Okay, now arrows. Uh, not sure how important arrows are going to be. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so we've already killed all these guys. Fine. Um, uh, quick game? Why? Why? Ah, son of a bitch. One second, guys. My controller has apparently decided this is the best time to run out of charge. Okay, and we're back, guys. And one thing that really bothered me about the Windows 10 is that for the longest time, there was no... A power indicator for your controller which is really annoying because if you use a 360 controller on Windows 7 uh, it would pop up telling you that your controller is low on batteries now it still doesn't tell you that your controller is low on Windows 10 but they have added a battery indicator into the Windows game menu which you know cool only took them uh, oh I don't know since the inception of Windows 10 to add that battery feature. But, you know, hey, well done, Microsoft. Better late than never. As you can see, the enemies are thinning out. I also noticed there is some other weirdness involved with grinding in this game. You may think a room is empty, but depending on what door that you enter from the room, um, it, also changes up the enemies that are in the room and I really feel stupid for cutting this down I'm not sure if that's gonna you know kick us in the ass later but hey we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it let's keep exploring oh these guys are back too wonderful hey fuckers what do you think of my new weapon huh well I mean I guess to these guys it's not that new Let's go back out here. Yes. So there does seem to be a few enemy sets per room. Yeah, fuck you. Which is a bit of a shame that you can exhaust them, but I suppose, you know, otherwise you could just endlessly grind and, um, you know, max all of your weapons out because it doesn't take that long to max your weapons out, uh, if you think about it. I mean, I did all of my orbs and my first two weapons with about half an hour of grinding but but that did pretty much take uh, every enemy that was in the beginning of the game so you know hey there we go got to two nice that'll do for now I will keep most of the grinding off camera but I'm gonna be honest with you the combat in this game is kind of fun <laughs> kind of a lot of fun so you know I seize the monsters I kills the monsters I'm a simple person uh, go up any demons in this room nope there are no demons here oh hello ow fuck I miss my testicles Ooh, yes. That's what we're talking about right there. That's the hit of the whole fruit. Any more demons in here? No? Okay. Oh, hello. Nice of you to drop in, dude. I mean, hey, if any of you guys want to donate some health to me, I would appreciate that. I require yellow souls please no okay right what have we got burst bullets the fuck is a burst bullet uh guns really we get guns in this? Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Not sure what sort of guns we would get, but uh, sure, I guess. All right, cool. I mean, I, is that worth coming back for? I guess so. Okay, anyway, now we need to head back down because we have that corridor. The one where we need to go deeper underground. And Oh, hello, sir. Hello. You little sausage, you. You know what? Ooh, that hurt. Don't know why. Face me, demon. Perfect quote. Yeah. <laughs> Face me, demon. Uh, I've been knee-deep in Halo books at the moment, so that tickles me. In the right places. Okay. Now. Let's go back. We could really use some health. Um, oh, this puzzle pissed me off as well quite a lot when I was re-playing. Uh, because this puzzle is random. And if you die here... Uh, which, I, when we actually did this uh, for our LP, when I was recording this, we cheesed through this with luck. But the puzzle was totally random, which kind of pissed me off a little bit, <laughs> to say the least. Because uh, when you die, um, you have to go through all these cutscenes again. And none of them are skippable. And yeah, that can go eat a dick. Alright, let's keep powering up our orb. Oh, are oh, you son of a fucking bitch. So close yet so far. Are oh, you straight savage. Alright, well, fine. Yeah, we need some health. Pretty, uh... Pretty bad in the health department right now. Extremely bad in the health department. Hey guys. You know, ask and you shall receive, I guess. Nice. If you think I'm going to go back and save it, you'd be right. Now, is that going to give us enough just to level up our last orb? Uh, I'm going to say probably not. Oh, it did. There we go. Nice. Is that worth an achievement? It is. Maxed orbs. Okay. Yeah. Me likey. Me likey very much. Cool. Yeah, I do like the new sword we have, but alas, it's... Sadly underpowered it's probably not that underpowered when you think about it because you know we're still I'm, I mean I, I don't know how long this game is but I'm guessing we're still early in this game uh, right yeah we can't go through there this also feels like I should be able to jump in this game but we can't obviously I keep thinking oh I just jumped down there and then I'm reminded of my foolishness there was no enemies here was there nope this is where I cut down that bloody bucket. Oh, hey, friends. Let's dance. Foul demons. Feed me your souls. Okay. Uh, anything in this room? No. Are you sure? Yes. There's a right little corridor that... Ah, yeah. Guessing we need the other side of that tablet before we can crack that door open. Uh, it's a sad day. Oh, I was going to say, it's a sad day when you stalk these corridors and you find no demons. Excuse me, dude. That's really not cool to stunlock me like that. But, hey, thanks for the souls. Is that the room we just came in? No, this is where... Oh, right. These guys are still here. She's unconscious. It's KD. Called KD. I looked up the pronunciation of her name and it's actually Kiri. But hey, uh, I guess one of those is right. I suppose. 
Face me, demon. That's got to be the name for the video as well. Right, uh, so I believe the way we're going is here. I guess so. I mean, the demons are here. If you came to see me beg, you will be disappointed. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually uh, reading, or should I say, listening at the at, at the work. Yes, at the work to um, Halo, Envoy, which is the newest book that I'm listening to at the moment, and it is superb. Right. I mean, of course, it is. It's a Halo book. I don't want to say the books are better than the games because, ooh, occult unsealed, because they're totally different. You know books you can't really compare books and games but my god the books so what the f funky voodoo is going on down here do we have a map we don't but we're drawing one as we go Ooh, these ghosts are blocking the door well not a lot oh looks like the dead are screaming but why do these tormented souls want to interfere with your mission Hmm, maybe arcane power has commanded that they do that. Ooh, save room. Oh, we're so close. Like, ah, uh, oh, hello. Oh. Well, let's rend these things. Oh, God, hello. We haven't seen one of these for a while. Get fucked, son. Uh, oh man. Ooh, books. Well, ah, oh, it's gonna be a week till I can play this again. That sucks. Um, you got the green book. Okay. Is it possible to obtain the blood of a sacrifice? A dark ceremony is the holiest and darkest ritual that can be carried out between the demons and those pathetic animals. In the dark ceremony, the blood is taken from a chosen sacrifice. Then the demon king bestows his evil blessing upon it. Once the animal makes its pact, it drinks the blood from a grail made of a human skull and receives the evil powers it seeks. But nobody has solved the mystery of how the power is transformed to the animal through the ceremony. Ah, uh, I want to know the answers. Why does no one understand my frustration? Once the mystery of the ceremony has been solved, that knowledge will greatly advance our demon species. I believe I am the only one who can solve this mystery, and yet I am forced to waste my time on things that won't bring me closer to the truth. I need one drop of blood. I wish Nobunaga would leave some blood after he drinks it in the ceremony. Hmm, interesting. So it doesn't have to be uh, Yuki's skull then, it can be anybody's skull, I'm not sure. To carry out the pact with Nobunaga, we have released large amounts of evil energy from uh, the castle. Yes, that will do, the castle, for several days now. But it seems that that's not enough. We need to strengthen the seal around the castle and fill the area with more evil energy. We must also sacrifice a girl born of that land, one with a noble heart. Well, there we go then. A girl has already been chosen, Princess Yuki. She is a fair-complexioned human with long hair. She, is be she has beautiful internal organs, especially her heart. Alright, bit weird, but sure. I can't help thinking about her organs they are the best of the best all right this guy's simping hardcore for yuki jesus sounds like an incel if i've ever heard one however if i dissect her she will be worthless as a sacrifice for the dark ceremony and if that happens i will be eaten alive by the king i have to give her up once the dark ceremony is over every life in the area will be lost including all human lives in short we will not have to worry about finding test subjects for my experiments for a while yeah that dude that dude that looks like a kind of dead xenomorph i like him and we got some more words for that oh my dudes we're out of time we're out of time Ugh. Bullshit. 
Right, so uh, I guess we can enhance. Because that is what we do here. Oh, we can enhance. Ah, right. So you get normal bullets as well that you can turn into burst bullets. That looks like black powder. And do we get like a musket? Maybe we get a flintlock pistol. Because why would we get a musket? That would be unwieldy, but a... Hmm... I did not expect that. So I'm guessing you can just straight up find burst bullets and fire arrows as well as their non-enhanced versions. Huh. Anyway guys, that's going to have to do it for now. Thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.